You guys want a pair of goggles? And then she says, do you love me? And he said, no, but that's a real nice ski mask. <laughs> Where's the weirdest place that you guys have ever had to play? Where's the like the strangest show, strangest venue? We played at a at a uh, brewery. Uh -huh. That's where I was going. <laughs> and it was like we didn't realize, but it was like a black tie event. Oh wow! Uh, it was like three hundred, four hundred dollars a plate kind of thing. Oh my god! Uh, Were you in black tie? Were you no, 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 no. We were like ready for a brewery gig, you right? Know? Right. Like, yeah. uh, like flannels and jeans or whatever, you know. Uh -huh. and, uh, and it was the Olympics, so they like insisted that we play the Olympic theme. Oh my god! As this was like part of the presentation of something, uh, something a new beer or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. And we were wow. like going through the dregs of our knowledge of songs, like yeah. Paul, like just really putting reaching. Paul on like instruments he's not used to playing to like squeeze out a Coldplay cover, and that's <laughs> the best part of the night. It was so funny. Paul just like squeaks his way through. The Scientist by Coldplay. Oh, that's in. And after we finish, you know, uh, and there's like a moment of silence because every right. song ended with that moment of silence where uh -huh. nobody clapped. <laughs> and then suddenly somebody looks over at us as if they've seen us for the first time and they're just like, <laughs> and everybody claps for one song on the whole night. <laughs> Wow. And it was The Scientist, which we had only played once before. That was the only time we've ever played that song at a live wow. show. Wow, maybe you should bring it back. Maybe it'll so be yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I mean, especially because people haven't clapped for a song since then. <laughs> you guys have been playing for a while. What's the, uh, what's the biggest mess up? that you've done on stage, the biggest screw up, the biggest like, you know, you had this thing planned and it just went <laughs> awry. I've like literally forgotten the entire, like all of the chords to a song. And then you need, and then you're just like not, we're just singing the song with no chords. Like, <laughs> because I don't remember how to play it. Is that like you were the one playing guitar like alone? Yeah, totally, and, totally. And, yeah. Oh no. That's kind of always, like <laughs> I, I am the one that's like dangerously exposed to making these massive mistakes. Right, that's nerve wracking. Yeah. All right, so another important part of touring, I noticed that you guys have lots of facial hair and long hair. And yeah. I'm wondering, is that difficult to keep up during tour? How do you how do you deal with your with your hair? Well, I think we're all pretty uh, pretty um, similar in that we rarely wash our hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, some, would you agree with that? I wash my hair every day, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's the newbie. You bring shampoo? No, I just well, I guess I just get it wet. Yeah. Oh, that's well. What that's we're what saying. we're talking about. Oh, okay, I mean, yeah, I get a good rinse it. every day. Earlier than that. And I'll even that. I'll even use uh, I'll use conditioner a lot of days too. Oh, I see. Uh, I but I don't do that, I don't yeah. use uh, shampoo every day or not even close to every day. All right. So, do you guys like grapes? Yes. I love grapes. Okay. Are you gonna feed us grapes right now? We're we're gonna attempt to to feed you grapes. Here, just open your mouths. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, this is so good. This is, <laughs> this is insane. This is some high class pampering here. <laughs> really good. Yeah. So, what do you guys miss most about the tour when you are home? The nightly back rubs is tough to get over. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I just kind of start to feel a little stagnant when I'm at home. It's like, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's way better when when uh it's kind of like a it's like taking a really great pill each night it's like you kind of just get this jolt of jolt of excitement mm -hmm. it's also like this sense of purpose you kind of like you you wake up and you got you, you got to get to the sound check mm -hmm. yeah. and then, then after sound check you got to like figure out where you're going to eat and after you eat you got to figure out which songs you're going to play and then you gotta like, you know, pull, do it, and then afterwards you you do your thing and go to bed and start it over the next day. Right. Whereas uh, at home sometimes it's easy to forget that like touring 150 dates in the year is 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 a big commitment, mm -hmm. and and you're working a lot. You know, you kind of right. start to feel like you're without a purpose. Yeah. Uh -huh.
holograph in time In the setting of the sun I heard it coming in the waning of the light And my time has nearly come This is why your mother we set about to write In the language of our love How you were born high above the tree line Beating hearts like a drum Too late to save us now. Oh. 